how do I go about uh, measuring the frequency response of the octopole? Well, we do that with a body 100 and we do that with a circuit whereby I can inject a signal into my system and I can uh, then measure the size and the phase shift of the, amp of the sine wave that I have injected in. So, we need to be able to adjust VCC. We need to be able to uh, adjust our pull-up. We need to be able to adjust the current through the LED so that it sits right in the middle of the linear range of VCE. Okay? The reason we have to do this is because in order to characterize the opto, I need to get it in exactly the same condition that it's going to be in the power supply that I am using. Because this is such a nonlinear device, if I use a different voltage and different R pull-up and different R LED current, I get a different uh, frequency response. So, if I have got a power supply whereby the VCC pin is going to be 5 volts and pull-up resistor is going to be 2 kilo ohms, I set this to 5 volts, I set this to 2 kilo ohms, and then I measure the frequency response. And then I should get a very good correlation between where the bandwidth of this opto is when it is inside of my power supply. So then I've got an injection resistor, which is sitting here. And then body 100 will inject a signal for me. And by placing the probes there and there, I can actually measure the frequency response and I can plot it. Note that if you make sure that this resistor here is exactly the same value as that resistor there, also the gain will be exactly the same as your CTR. So not only will you locate the position of our pole or the bandwidth of the opto, you also get the low frequency CTR. This is the type of thing that you will get. So here is Bode, uh, Bode 100's uh, um, plot. Here I have got the gain plot, here I have got the phase plot, and at low frequencies I have got 2.38 dBs. I can convert that into my CTR, we will do that in a minute, uh, and I have got my phase. Now, the bandwidth of a filter or its 3 dB point or its port position is defined as when the gain falls down by 3 dB. So all I have to do is take 2.3 at low frequencies minus 3 dBs and that gives me the bandwidth. The CTR is converting that dB back into the power of 10 is 130 which for this particular opto is very nicely within the manufacturer's specification. Please note that there's a phase shift of 180 degrees because we, we, it, the, it is in uh, a common emitter mode, the transistor, and therefore there is an inversion. Then the 3 dB point is happening at 2.3 minus 3, which is at 0 0.6. There you go, the difference is exactly minus 3 dB point. And at this point, I have got 50 kilohertz, which is the bandwidth of the opto. One important thing to note is that if this were a textbook pole, then you expect that at 3 dB point, you have 45 degrees of phase lag. But in fact, we have 52. Um, the reason is that we are approximating the bandwidth of the opto to a first order system. The important issue here is that instead of 45 degrees, I have got 52. So before I have even started, I have lost 7 degrees of phase margin. And I wouldn't have even known this had I not measured it. So it is vitally important that you measure the power supply, sorry, measure the opto so that you know exactly how many extra degrees of phase you have lost. In general, the smaller the value of the pull-up resistor, the larger the collector current, the bigger the phase loss. So there may be a tendency to reduce the value of the pull-up resistor in order to get better CTR, but then you lose more phase margin. So you have to find a compromise. Okay, finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the value of C-opto. 
I, and it's such a simple equation. You have got cutoff frequency is equal to 1 over 2 pi r pull up times c opto. I, I measured the cutoff frequency as minus 3 dB point using the body 100. So I have got uh, 50 kilohertz. My pull up resistor was 1 kilohertz. Therefore, c opto is 3.2 nanofarads. A genuine pole would have given me 45 degrees of phase lag, but I have lost 52, which means that I have lost an extra 7 degrees of phase margin. And I will, now that I know, I can take it into account. And finally, to get the CTR, you simply use this equation and you end up with 130%. We now know everything in order to design a stable compensator. 